Hello ladies and gentlemen, Vlad here from HeavyPlay.net and today I am bringing you yet another episode from Victory is Life. Now this is the latest update, still in closed beta, for Star Trek uh, New Horizons, which is in my humble opinion the best total conversion mod for Stellaris. Even more so, it is probably the Star Trek space game that we were all hoping for and never got to play. Well, at least we have this, you know. So. Long story short, I was asked about the features in the game and the devs said I can, uh, you know, don't worry, just tell people what they want to know, which is awesome by them. And um, we have been uh, doing some Let's Plays, you have seen some things already. But I have uh, pinned the, uh, 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 the entire list of the features uh, below the YouTube videos and I'm going to go through them right now for you guys you can comment on them You can see what you like what you don't like what you would like to see and so on and so forth I'll be sure to pass all of these comments on so let's go into it now <clears throat> first one which I really like is The new Dominion member state mechanic now that will replace vassals for the Dominion allowing players to further exploit their subjects demanding tributes ships and even planets so basically, when you wage a war against a species and you put them into a state of becoming a vassal, you will have a far, a far more uh, um, abilities, far more uh, different ways of exploiting them. You can take plans from them, you can ask money, energy, whatnot. I haven't been trying that yet, although I have a, we have a first, uh, first vassal in our playthrough, a member state. Forgive me, Dominion Member State. So we're going to be testing in this episode. So, also, uh, hundreds of uh, species-specific diplomatic lines have been added to increase immersion. Awesome stuff. Uh, all uh, species leader portraits have been uh, updated with uh, assimilated appearance. The Great Link mechanic, allowing players the ability to dispatch changing infiltrators to neighboring iPads. This is something awesome. I didn't really figure it out. What well, it was at the very beginning, but essentially, just like in the Deep Space Nine show, you can send um, infiltrators to take place of somebody in a higher position, um, and you can take uh, they can take positions of uh, admirals, uh, governors, or uh, even state uh, state uh, presidents or um, kings or emperors or whatnot, whatever they are. So basically. Uh, in those positions, they can affect certain branches uh, uh, in this empire. And if they are the leader of the empire, if they have replaced the leader of the empire, you can actually um, bring them to like you more. So, among other stuff, it's really awesome. So, um, that needs a little bit of polishing, I believe, right now. I have sent several infiltrators. Uh, and uh, I think they're okay still, but I've only had one chance to bring one of them back. The longer they stay in this empire, uh, the higher the chance is that they will be discovered. I haven't seen anybody getting discovered or destroyed or killed by now, but we'll see. I'll have to pay more attention to that, how it works. Now, do we have um, the 100 event chain? That one fired off in this playthrough already and in case you haven't seen that in Deep Space Nine don't know the lore uh, Odo, which is one of the main characters in Deep Space Nine was a part of the hundred uh, changelings that have been sent out into the space as um, you know, like as kind of babies you might want to say so uh, so that other species could uh, take them, embrace them raise them so they would learn the ways of that species and eventually come back home. And there is also a great episode of Deep Space Nine where Odo meets a fella who was uh, one of these 100 and who went out to, uh, uh, you know, he wanted to see the Great Link and whatnot. And he was entirely different than Odo. He just disliked solids and he, he didn't hate them. He was just like, yeah, you are obsolete. You are not obsolete. You are inferior to us so yeah and it will be interesting to see how this pans out we'll have to pay attention to that as well so uh dominion appropriate replacement of the vanilla pirate events all right then we have a dynamic anomaly based on the deep space nine episode the ship oh i can't recall that i believe the ship was when this dominion ship fell down 
on the planet. I'll have to check it out. I cannot recall what was this anomaly, but yeah, it's all right. So we have uh, Oscan Hunters. Their task prey in screen races are rather and now playable. Uh, Banean species added to the Delta Quadrant. If you remember this episode from Deep Space Nine, uh, Oskin Hunters were these highly technologically advanced people who had these tasks that they would be hunting for fun, for sports, you know. And uh, yeah, they are all as playable species now, which is not bad. So, a number of uh, new unaffected races will join the galaxy, including the First Federation, the Metron Consortium, and the Citharians. Uh, of which I am aware of the First Federation, it was in the TOS, in the original series, but I can only call Metron Consortium and the Citharians. I am well versed in the lore, I would say, but I don't know everything, so yeah, it happens. So, Voth and Herc are said to be unaffected races when not played by humans, which is cool. Now, we have something for the uh, Federation right now, incremental NCC ship registries for Starfleet vessels. For example, when you build a ship now, you will get uh, uh, an NCC number, and every next ship will get an incrementally increased number. And, and if you ask yourself, what is NCC? Um, there, were never, there was never uh, an exact description of what it was, but some assumed it kind of got lost in the original scripts and whatnot. And uh, sadly, Gene Rodman is not around to tell us anymore. <laughs> poor, but, poor, uh, yeah, that's a shame. I, I, I just wonder what, how would he uh, react if he could see the Star Trek of today, what he would think about it, you know. But yeah, so Gene Roddenberry, even if he knew what that meant, or somebody else along the road, it's lost, but they mostly say it's a, like a, a naval commission, commissioned craft or something like that. And NX means like an uh, experimental, naval experimental or something. So. Uh, NCC is basically, yeah, build us this ship, this is a commission ship, this is the ship we have ordered from the naval shipyards, but not. So you can get the incremental NCC numbers. Now, uh, refactored assimilation mechanics to remove edge cases that prevent the species from being assimilated by the Borg, which is good. Option to switch to Borg cooperative or Unimatrix Zero if the rebellions occur. Like, if the rebellions occur. I didn't know that the... Rebellion was optional. I thought it was uh, fully integrated. I have to ask the guys about that. Um, but I thought it was a part of, it was like uh, you cannot go around that scenario. So we'll see. So, um, and it's good to be able to switch if you want to go with the old card or the new card. That's, that's interesting. So, event to allow important leaders to have ships named after them on their deaths, which is also cool. Uh, new ship sets, Voth, Kobali, First Federation, Generic so 04, whatever that is, the, the last one is unfamiliar to me. And um, improved ship models and additional stations for Dominion, Vulcan and Generic races. Cool. Rebalanced star bases, military stations and passive defenses. Um, making them a lot more potent and meaningful. This is really good. Uh, space stations and the defense platforms, they need much more love in this game. They'll get it soon, in a couple of months, I would say, even the vanilla Stellaris. But it's good to see this happening in the, in the Star Trek New Horizons mod already. Now, we have unique fighters for major factions. That's a huge plus. Two thumbs up. Uh, overall rebalance to all weapons. Streamlining ranges and adding new ranges of torpedoes and starting weapons to factions such as the Vidians and Kranim. Very interesting. Next, we have... The overhaul to combat sensors. They should perform a lot more intuitively now and offer more player choice. Cool. Rebalanced a range of utilities as well as computers and warp engine components. A total overhaul to civilian ships, specifically science ships and colony ships with models that offer them unique abilities. This is interesting. Um, I think I have seen something along those lines with the science ships having the escape pods, which uh, allows, uh, increases the chance that the scientist will survive if his or her ship is being destroyed in engagement. Now, unique military consoles capable of sending slavers, marines, and even humanitarian aid corps to enemy planets during engagements. It's interesting. It's a, this, this is, uh, I'm looking forward to test this one out. 
and uh, we'll see how that works in, in the actual game. So, an overhaul to starting conditions, rebalancing empires of equal power and giving major factions more unique technologies, buildings and populations. Uh, the Klingons get the Monastery of Borath and the Rula Panth prison colony. So, that was it. And there was also, I've, uh, I, I guess I missed this from some, uh, from the features list. There are other features as well that I haven't, uh, that are not on this list. One of them was the introductions of uh, mega structures, and uh, it was, um, it was, hang on, the Dominion will be able to build a specific prison. But only if uh, Dominion has at least one a foreign uh, population. So we'll have to, I'll have to check in that one. Uh, also, Dominion gets to ca build uh, super carriers, and there's also a lot of changes for the Federation, um, uh, Federation gameplay. But let us stop right here because this was quite a lot of stuff. <laughs> I have to put in the link if you're not interested in all of this, so you can skip all of this. Hope you uh, survived so far, but. Um, uh, uh, this is a lot of stuff and uh, I will cover the Federation gameplay as well so we can be uh, and I will address the Federation changes at that point so uh, without further ado as they say let's get into the game and see what we have been missing what we have done last time is we got the Karema as our vassals let's see mm -hmm. let's unpause this and here we go there are subjects. If we hover over them, it says member world under dominion. And um, the color is weird. You see this? This is like the real purple. But as we go down now, this is kind of purple as well, but not entirely. You see? So it's a member world. All right. Now, let's see, what are we up to? Naval capacity, it's okay, planets, yada yada yada. Let's see, star bases, mm hmm Just a second. Let me set some things up here with the recording, beautiful. <clears throat> Alright, we got our coffee. We got our Dominion playthrough, and let's go through all of this step by step. Now. Uh, there was an issue with the planetary main buildings disappearing. I, th I think that may have happened here as well. Oh, but uh, let's just kind of ignore this, all right? Let's see if we can build them. I guess not. The penal colony is sitting okay. I don't see the. Our plant. Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is. Planetary administration. Yeah, yeah, I'm fairly blind. Okay, they are here. I've been reading some uh, bug happened occurred, but apparently it was not a part of this mod. All right, inactive buildings. Paradise Dome. Let's build a pop here. Good. So. Where are we at? Construction ships are doing their things. Uh, let's send this guy and survey the system. Let's survey Buckman. There's one thing that was um, that many people didn't know, including myself, as far as the um, uh, vanilla Stellaris is concerned. If you exchange Star Trek, Star Maps, Star Trek Maps, if you do that, uh, you will lose the ability to find any uh, anomalies in those systems, which, yeah, should have told us. Uh, physics Labs 2 is something that we should take here. Oh, we got here. Ba, 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 ba. So, Frontier Hospital, plus 15 growth speed. Let's do that one. So are all these planets building stuff? Nope, let's get... Oh, got a basic bio lab here and a water to we have a decent amount of uh, minerals we're really good let's see how our star bases are doing okay let's get this upgrade boom 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 now let's check how can we harass these guys 
Hmm. Apparently. Let's open borders to them. Yes. All right. And uh, I can I don't see where's the pass or oh, how do we how do we manipulate them? This is by off a trade deal. They don't want to give us this. What is going on? All right, I don't seem to recognize how to do this. Basically, what we can is it uh, uh, mm, funny? Well. should be an option but i cannot find it i will have to check it out with the guys from the dev team so how do we actually harass these guys now they are our vassals now so yeah what hap what will happen next let's see what would happen if we were to declare no we already had war with them let's declare rivalry or let's see oskian hunters to our galactic East, yeah, East. Galactic East. Why the Emirates? They are really weird. They are behaving as if they are, I don't know, like um, like the Dozy. Dozy are usually popping up everywhere. So I believe we are building. No, we're not. Okay, sign ship here. Let's get them moving. Survey. Let's array this one as well, and let's build another construction ship. I feel a little bit hammed in. We need more of these guys. One thing I really find, you know, sad is the fact that the auto build mod doesn't work with uh, with this game. So you you have it for. Uh, as a mod for Stellaris, but just doesn't work with this one. And you have you suddenly have so many systems, and you forget about different stuff. So, yeah, I would like to have these construction ships. Telling them, go ahead, build this, build all, build all the bases you can build for mining and whatnot, because we have sufficient money and stuff. So, yeah, but um, we'll see about that. May happen. May still happen. Let's hope. So, mm-hmm, that's survey system, all right. I'm not quite certain what to do next. Should I go for another war? Let's see how, um, what is our Construction. power? Construction. How do we relate? Vadi Emirates are tough, or well, tougher than the rest. Turogan, they have already, Taking up a lot of uh, space. Let's see how these guys are doing. They're pathetic. And if we declare war on them. Situation log updated. Hmm. Okay, let's get this Iota Menace first out of the way. Yeah, Dera. Hmm. I see these guys becoming a part of the Dominion very soon. Let's get here. And where is our army? Let's get them here as well. Have we built any other as well? Recruiting assault army, Jem Hadar, Jem Hadar army. All right. No, <clears throat> we don't want to have water as assault armies. Oh, we have negative balance for the energy good for the first time not bad happens as well let's build some more i have really been neglecting building stuff construction complete 
guess let's see what we got a heroic landmark. Let's do that one. Bam, ba -dum, bam, bam, ba -dum. This looks like a, like a beard. Uh, I don't know why. I, every time I see this, I think about like uh, this looks like a beer uh, glass, doesn't it? Well, maybe it's just me. See, got like yellow liquid. Like, ah, give me a glass of beer. All right. Basic physics lab. Oh yes, here we go. The ocean becomes a drop, and the drop becomes the ocean. Yada yada yada. Do we replace a solid leader? Let's do that. Um, let's target the Rogan Empire. Now the question is, whom do we? Oh, we have one hundred sixteen. Nah, we're not. We're not gonna do this. We're gonna get this fella. We're gonna back off because we have wasted a lot of uh, influence. And uh, let we contemplate or do nothing. Let's um, let's engage in contemplations. That's something unique to, and I know we're losing uh, unity points, but hey ho hum, it is what it is, you know. We're gonna be building stuff soon. So yeah, Dara, offer trade deal. What you got? Do you like us? You don't like us? Okay. I cannot see how the planet is doing. Mm-hmm. Star system chart. Now, civilian ships. Do we have we have a construction ship that is being slacking? Let's build an outpost here. It's much more important than anything else. We need to build outposts and simply uh, okay, let's get the pop water here and just stake claims all over the place. So because you see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really regret that we don't have the automatic exploration yet. I love that option and just hit that and let 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 these ships explore everything else. But we'll survive. We always do. Okay, yeah. Impressive structures litter the Guinea's surface, practically begging for some archaeological work. What is the oh yeah, this is the big guy now. Yeah, let's send him do that. <clears throat> Plus five percent monthly unity. I believe that the contemplations of the Great Link can only have this result: plus five monthly unity. I'm not certain, but it seems so. I never seen anything else, you know, being happening. Okay, what we got here? Frontier Hospital. Very nice. Uh, this is not good for us because we don't have any factions. This is not bad overall, but let's go with police station is the cheapest one and good to have eventually. Now, <clears throat> construction complete. Yes, let's upgrade this baby. Construction complete. What else do we have here? Bound to space weaponry. Nope. Uh, some of the buildings have actually gotten uh, improvements. So... Here we go. Finally. Now this baby, this is going to be one hell of a piece of pie. I don't know why I just said it, just, that sounds stupid. <laughs> uh, we're gonna upgrade this base and we're gonna make this one a true actual... Uh, 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 Super, super duper shipbuilding base. Yes. Construction complete. Hmm. What is this? This is 4K, and our fleet is. Oh. All right. Yadera. Let's uh, declare rivalry. Yes. Construction complete. Oskian Hide Hunters. Let's declare rivalry. Oh, yes. What we got here, this is it. Are we on the same level now? They're inferior to us. Let's just go and hit them. Let's hit them hard. So science ships not doing their work. Let's... Okay, let's go like this. Survey system. And this one. Come on, give us auto research. 
That's one of the things that kind of frustrates here because you can never really say what will be happening next. You see, I'm saying Jeremiah Rise station ops. Combat speed plus 10%. Yeah, I, I would like that. Oh, what's this? Privateers? Alrighty then. I don't want you fighting them. Stay back, stay back. Boom. Declare war. Let's hit pause. Not humiliate. Vassalize. 61. Uh, if you humiliate, we'll get 100 points. Yeah, that's good. Let's do this. We have declared war to safeguard our interests. And here we go. So, technology research, it's on pause the game. Police station, naval capacity, slave unrest. This is a good one. Let's take it. I'm not really sure how does this is going to work out because. Uh, these guys, um, we will not be having slaves anymore. We'll be having, uh, oh boy, uh, how about you stand back? Okay, Del Guinness one is uninhabited, indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Yada, 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 stuff. 350 research points. Yeah, all right see how tough this is going to get for these guys wow a lot of small ships wait yeah they look they have a they have a slight similarity all right I believe in our advantage. But let's see. They're going for the base, which is not a good call, but I cannot order them to fight these guys. They just do their thing. Because the base is a tank, essentially, and you should ignore the tank. You should go for the damage dealers. But, uh, yeah. That's all right. It's all right. Build deep space naval shipyard. All right. We are now. Oh, this is tough. We're actually kind of losing this. Nope. Retreat. That's it. A little bit. A little bit humiliated, but hey ho. Wait a minute, where is the. Yeah, you go away as well. Yeah, loss. Go to Kessler. Now, good old outpost. Let's see. Orbital dockyard destroyed and cruiser build speed. Good. Construction. This is it. That's all for now, huh? Let's hit Starbase. Do nothing. Fleet Academy. Yeah, let's get that one as well. So, engineering. Cruiser build cost, minus 10%, magnetite. Uh, uh -huh. Let's go with this one. It's a, you know, board wide improvement. And it's not that we are like hurting for money. So. Construction Let's complete. upgrade these guys. Construction complete. Oh, what just happened? Vessels upgraded. All right, everybody is doing their thing. Oh, build a pop. Yes, please. What is this? This is the. Second, where is it? Stars. The iridium processor.
All right, more population. Upgrade. I still have to figure out how to... Um, how to exploit these guys. That's something that we'll have to go and revisit soon enough. 